Hotepu, good keepers, and our allies. This is King Ra Smebathak Bayemi, the world's first openly gay African king. And today I respond to perhaps one of my most frequently asked questions, which is how to read the Egyptian texts. How do you decode them? The answer to this question came from the gay Shepsu or ancestors of Kemet. And in my rituals to them many years ago, they told me there was only one spiritual system in Egypt, and it's astrology. It's the master spiritual science. It's the one study that makes the study of everything else in your life easier to understand. It is the mother science, and it's an infinite body of knowledge, as infinite and vast as the open skies. And once you understand that all of Kemet had one message, astrology through astronomy, then you will understand every single one of our texts. When you study all spiritual techniques, all metaphysical techniques, the mandalas, the tree of life, the zodiac, the chakras, the tarot system. What do they all have in common at their base? Planets. The spheres of the tree of life are basically planetary spheres. The tarot has planetary rulers. The Yijing Oracle has five elements which are ruled by planets, and each of those planets are ruled by organs. So no matter where you turn, there's one thing you keep finding at the base, and that's planets, which therefore means astrology. So rather than studying all of the offshoots of the mother science, why not study the science that is the mother? That would be astrology. Some call Nut, we call Geba the sky god called Geba. Now, if you go on my Ra, Ra Golden Beetle and King Rasumaba Facebook pages, you'll see an image of the god Geb shown as a sky god with a very large phallus. Okay, so on the screen in front of you are really the key phrases you'll need to know and if you learn them, you can read and understand any scripture, any wall writing of ancient Kemet. It'll be so easy. Let's review these very quickly. For example, in the Book of the Dead, you'll find chapter of so-and-so and chapter doing this. The word chapter is code here for meditations. They're not chapters, they're meditations. So the chapter of becoming a lotus is actually the meditation on becoming a lotus. I also call them bedreamings, a word I've made up, dreaming something into being. By going to the dream state, you can, through that dream state, make it spill over, like Neo in the Matrix, make the Matrix kind of spill over into this world. Or astral projections. You can call them the astral projection of becoming a lotus, of becoming a crocodile, of becoming a golden hawk. Okay? This is the book of meditation. The Book of the Dead is a book of contemplations and meditations. Okay? Now, wherever you see the word Ra, it simply means my astrology chart. Just plug in the code. You see the word Ra, say astrology chart. You see Kepa Ra, it means same thing as my chart, but as a fractal. And I have YouTube videos about fractals if you want more data about that. Wherever you see the word Osar, the West calls it Osiris. You can use one of the three, all three, or any combination of these three codes, plugins. Osar means my positive DNA, my good DNA. Osar can also mean my Bazi chart, which is your Chinese astrology chart. And Osar can also mean, at the same time, the tree of life. It can mean any of these three. And you'll tend to know which one of the three it is by the context of where his name appears in the sentence. The word Tem or Temu, that god Temu, it simply means the power of chart upleveling or chart improvement. Tem means unlimited possibilities, but it means you have a chart, 
and it may have bad karmas or cursed karmas, but you have the power to up level or overcome and improve upon those karmas. That's all it means, Tim. Haru means chart master. Someone who's a master of astrology. A master astrologer is what Haru really means. Haru means above. Well, what's above but the stars? He's the one that mastered looking at them and flying with them. As means trance on my chart or the study of my moon signs. That would include your actual moon sign, uh, the fixed stars which come out at night. It would include what's called in the Eastern astrology of Jyotish, the nakshatras. In Chinese astrology, called the Siu, S I E U C A U. Nebethet means vi whenever you see Nebethet, just replace it with visualizing my charts, myths, and configurations hieroglyphically. Seeing my charts story as a visual experience. That's all it means. Apwat means proper mathematical understanding of your chart's details. Apwat means you really have learned your chart. You've memorized your chart's details. Set means here the god set my negative DNA or my chart's issues, my chart's entropic patterns. Okay? A pop, the serpent of evil, means my chart's afflictions or curses. That's all it means. Tehuti, this is a key one, means the oracle readings on my chart, exclamation point. If you use oracles, African oracles, Yijing oracles, any great oracles, by themselves, they are more confusing than they are clarifying. They tend to be more confusing. You might get a clarity every now and then in a blue moon, but it, I've been using oracles for many, many years, and I am telling you from pure experience, it's only when you do a reading on something about your chart, a planet, an angle, a house, a sign, a fixed star, something that's going on in that chart, then the oracle reads exquisitely well. Its accuracy goes up exponentially. But if you read, do a reading just without a chart, do a reading not on a chart, just about your life or a question in general, you'll get some kind of sketchy, broad stroke direction, but it's very vague, very nebulous, very hard to follow, very metaphoric and symbolic, and you only really get it after the fact 2020. Okay? The word Tehuti means double measure. What are the double? What's this double talking about? It means you have on one hand a chart, and then you have a casting of oracles upon that chart. They must be done together as twins, as one dual, dualized unit. Like peanut and butter, they must go together. Okay? Next is Ma'at. Simply means divination of the signs of my 12 signs and 12 houses. Taking my chart's 12 signs and my 12 houses to a level of divine perfection. One can call that ethics. It also means synchronicity. Ma'at's the double truths. As within, so without. Synchronicity means that things outside of you, things in your life external to you, are merely reflections of your internal states of consciousness. If you are a person full of fear, you will attract externally bullies. Because the bully is your planet Hergohuti Mars trying to tell you, fight. That's his law. Fight. Defend yourself. But if you are very timid and shy and you keep becoming a doormat, you are not allowing the archetype of Hergohuti Mars to develop. It's becoming atrophied and it's becoming malnourished. To survive, he will bring a bully to force you to fight so he can grow. And there he becomes his ma'at, his law, his code of honor, which is fight for what's right. The next is newt here. All it means is my chart's 12 signs, the 12 signs. The ram of Aries, the bull of Taurus, the twins of Gemini, all that. Geb means nothing more than my 12 houses. The first house, second house, eighth house, seventh house of marriage, etc. Shu means the yang parts of my chart. For example, 
there are 12 signs. All the odd numbered ones, 1, 3, 5, 7, etc., are Yang, or called Yang signs, yes. Also, Shu means doing breath yoga while working on your chart. Using Kundalini yoga or what's called Swara Pranayama yoga to help you get into that chart, to meditate on that chart. Tefnut is the yin parts of your chart. For example, that will be all the even numbered houses. And the signs are considered yin. The houses are considered yang. That's shu and tefnut. Okay. Kemet. The word kemet means to complete. So a kemao person means completion of chart mastery. You've completed your chart, mastering it. Meaning you've mastered karma itself. The greatest science to learn for human is karma. The eye of ra means I means something you look at. You study with your eyes pretty much. So the study of your chart and its stars. Ra means what? My astrology chart up here. The eye of Heru. Or well, I means studying and imagining. Yes. Heru means what? We saw earlier where was he? Up here, chart master. How to master your charts. Goodness in daily life. How to be a master astrologer as a way of life. Okay, you'll find the word Anu or Heliopolis a lot in many of our texts. It simply means your chart chakras. This is a very profound revelation given to me by the gay ancestors of Kemet, the Shepsu, about how you can't work your chart unless you know your chakras. Because the chakras are the base of the chart, and the charts are basically the flowering of the chakras. That's what they're often called lotuses. The chakras are called lotuses. Okay, where we see the word boat, it means my mind. Heaven means what's above me. My chart's 12 signs. Easy, right? Earth equals my chart's 12 houses. That's down below. This phrase you'll see a lot, perit im haru. Perit means to come forth or to have courage. Like to step up. Yeah, perit, come out and step up. Perit im haru, coming out, stepping up to the challenge of being an astrologer or consciously learning my astrology chart for mastering it and its karmas. It, there should be the word it and its karmas there. Okay, lotus means simply my chakras and my left chakra channel called the Ida in India. It's called the Ida channel. Papyrus means the right chakra channel called in India Pingala. Where you see the word the deceased it simply means the chart initiate, someone who's learning their chart in a process of studying. The duat, the duat simply means all. Whenever you see the word duat, you simply replace it with chart. The duat, my chart, especially studied while in trance. You see the word above a lot, that means my twelve signs in my chart. You see the word below often referenced in our scriptures, it means my chart's twelve houses. The word hotep here means the power to improve my chart gracefully. It means you have the power again like temu or tem, the power to have those karmas but upgrade them in a graceful and peaceful manner. The word heart, also often called ab, these are the same word. The word heart means understanding and memorizing of the mind through the chart. Ab, me, ab means heart, which means your mind comprehends the chart. You have a conscious study that's been memorized by heart of your own chart. Ab really means knowing your chart by heart. Ka means my emotions, my emotional reactions and programs to my chart's karmas. The word ba, which is the divine spark, means the calm observation of my chart playing itself out in my life, egging me on towards divinity and goodness. It's when you're able to observe your life objectively from kind of a perspective and distance, and you're seeing that you're going through a series of lessons. Your ups and downs are all about you learning lessons about that chart and about karma. That's what the Ba's purpose is. That's all it means. You find the word ku here. It's the same thing as tehuti, the oracle readings on my chart. Again, 
oracles only really work when they are used to ask a question about the chart. I can't stress that enough. Okay? You see the word the body or my body. That again means my chart's external synchronicities. That what is happening to me physically is linked to what's happening to me psychologically and mentally. Our meat, called the devourer, the eater of hearts, simply means misdirecting my chart's components. When you're blowing it, you're really playing out the worst side of that chart, of your love life, of your seventh house. Then our meat will eat that house, eat your love life, make it horrible. You see the phrase words a lot, the words of so-and-so, ma keru, this, that, and the other, word, true of voice, or words. Words means hekau, chart words of power, using words of power to fix that chart. Words also mean teachings, or ideas, or messages. There are many references in the books of Egyptian scriptures of breathing. It means the same thing as shu, over here, breath yoga on my chart, same thing. Doing pranayama yoga for studying and meditating upon your chart. The word Jed, this was a revelation by the gay ancestors as well. Jed actually means your Bazi chart, your Chinese, it's called your eight pillars chart. Now the Jed column is a pillar, and the Chinese people preserve that phrase in their astrology called the eight pillars. I'm sorry, the four pillars. Bazi, or the eight pillars, yes, Bazi, eight pillars. Okay? And the raising of the jet column means lifting up the karma of your bazi chart. You find the phrase jejetu, doubly, double columns, double, double, basically column. Yeah, jet means column, or that which stabilizes, doubly stable. That means the study of both your charts, astronomy and astrology. One column is the mathematical astronomy of your chart. The other column is the astrology. Also, Jejetu means the study of your Bazi chart in conjunction with its Feng Shui. I can go into this, but I won't do it at this time. But just mark my words. That's the real meaning of Jed and Jejetu. Okay, you find the phrase hidden things often. It means my chart's subconscious dynamics. That's all it means. You see, everything I'm saying here has one common denominator, your chart. The East means the conscious and deliberate study of my chart, taking classes, basically. The West, taking the study of my chart into meditation, the dreaming, or astral projection. You take those studies inward, entering the block. That's a phrase you'll see often in our scriptures. It means perpetuating negative karmas within my chart, like a chopping block. And tomb means my chart's karmas. Unless you study your chart, you're stuck in that tomb. You're stuck with them. But once you become aware of them, in the manner which, if you saw what the bleep, you become aware of a particle, it behaves differently. When observed, it acts like a particle or a wave. It Perception affects the behavior of things, and if your chart is unknown to you, like dead to you, like a tomb, then you're stuck with those karmas. But if you are aware of the chart, its behavior will change, you can bend it more. So, this is the code. Now, these two simple pages, there aren't really many entries here, but I guarantee you, if you learn this little, even this, there's more I could give you, but if you learn these few little entries, you will be able to read any Egyptian text. I don't care what Book of the Dead, Pyramid text, Coffin text, Book of Breathings, Book of the Heavenly Cow, the Hours of Ra. It won't matter. You'll be able to really understand what it's talking about. But without astrology, it's all disconjointed. Let me give you an example of proof because you're going to try a few exercises if you don't mind. Let's see here. I'm going to hit some random chapters from our texts. This is, I'm just a random chapter here, plate 7 to 10. Let's start with this part down here. 
I am the god Tem. Let's start here, actually. The Osiris, the scribe Ani. This means the man Ani, who is a master of his chart, particularly his Bazi chart, his Chinese chart, which is actually African, for the Chinese come from the Africans. After he arriveth in his haven of rest, well, the word rest is Hatep, meaning he has learned to deal with his chart peacefully and gracefully. Recall here. Hatep, the power to improve my chart gracefully. Okay, back here. Now it is good for a man to recite this work while he's upon the earth. Okay, meaning while he's looking at his external life events of his chart. And then all the words words means ideas of Tem. Tem means to up level, to improve yourself shall come to pass. Let's find Tem. We had it here, Tim. The power of chart upleveling and improvement. Let's go on. I am the god Tim. I am the power to improve my karmas. In rising. Rising means Kundalini rising. In lifting my chakras. I am the only one that you have to know. All you have to know is that you have the potential of improving yourself. Tim. I came into existence in Nu. Nu means the same thing as potential. I come from what's possible. I am Ra, my chart, who rose in the beginning of my life called my birthday. The ruler of this creation, my chart rules what I'm creating in my life. Okay? Let's just scroll to any, I'm just going to click on any random page. I don't know what page is going to be. Let's just try it. Okay. Here we have a chapter of not, no, chapter means what? Let's go back to our code. Chapters means meditations, bedreamings, or astral projections. So the meditation of not letting the heart, soul, heart means memory of your chart in your mind, the mental understanding of your chart. The meditations that cause you to not let your memorization by heart of your chart be carried away or forgotten. Okay? And it says here the meditations of not letting my conscious memory of my chart of a man be snatched from him through forgetfulness in Netter Ket, which means in meditation. The Osiris, the scribe Ani, says, I, even I, am he who cometh forth from the celestial water. This means trance, meditation, Akib. Meditation produced abundance for me and hath a mastery there in the sky of my chart in the form of the river. The river means the Milky Way and also the central channel of the chakras. Okay, let's just scroll to another random. I'm going to click whatever pops up. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try this one here. 40. Thou shalt come forth from heaven. Well, heaven, let's go back to our code. Heaven, where was it? Where was that heaven? Well, it basically means here it is heaven. My chart's 12 signs. So let's go back. Thou shalt come forth from the study of your twelve signs. Thou shalt sail over the sky, which is your chart. Thou shalt hold loving intercourse with the star gods. You shall commune with them. You shall get to know your chart. Become intimate with your chart. Praises shall be made to thee in the boat, in your mind. Remember the word boat? Let's see, the word boat meant, wherever I put it here, boat my mind. Okay? 
where were we here? Thy name, or destiny, shall be proclaimed in the Aded boat, which is the boat of meditation. Thou shalt look upon Ra your chart within his shrine, meaning doing ritual you're gonna do rituals on your chart. Thou shalt make the disc, which is the physical sun sign, the physical sun meaning watch the actual stars to set with prayer every day you're going to pray by the transit of the planets every day so that those transits are lucky for you thou shalt see the aned fish in his transformation in the depths of the water of turquoise the aned fish can deal with the rising of planets there's a fish for the rising and the fish for the setting okay you shall see the rising of planets in their transformations or manifestations keperu in the depths of the waters of trance of turquoise turquoise is the color blue which means the sky thou shalt see the abdu fish the setting of the stars in their time in their transits it shall be that the evil one meaning bad chart karmas shall fall when he deviseth a plan to destroy thee that meaning when your bad transits hit you they will try to knock you out make you sick car accident illness loss divorce and the joints of his neck and back shall be hacked asunder that the bad karmas once you learn your chart you'll be able to snap the evil in half and destroy it Ra my chart saileth with a fair wind your chart moves forward sails forward when you do deep breathing on it what's called pranayama yoga and the sectet boat progresseth the sectet boat is the boat the boat of destiny which is your chart another word for chart it will progress become better and you should also study your charts progressions and cometh into port port means divinity the mariners of Ra, those would be those that sail the boat along, that would be the planets. The mariners of your chart rejoice, the planets of your chart rejoice, and the study of your chart of the lady of the hour, meaning studying your chart's transits each hour, is glad. You will have good lucky transits, good lucky life events. For the enemy of her lord, meaning bad karmas, her enemy of her lord, hath been cast to the ground. You're not going to screw your chart up anymore. Thou shalt behold Haru, Horus, Haru, the master astrologer, standing on the pilot's place of the boat. Because when you are, particularly at night, sailing a boat, you've got to look at the stars. The stars navigate you. So we have the great astrologer king, king of astrology, standing at the pilot's place in the boat, directing. The astrologer directs his mind, boat means mind, in harmony with the stars of the chart. And Tehuti, Thoth, the oracles on my chart, and Ma'at, the perfection of my chart, shall stand one on each side of him. All the gods of my chart, all the planets and stars in my chart, meaning my karmas, will rejoice when they see my illuminated chart coming in peace, meaning with good karmas, to make the minds or hearts of the divine souls, the Ba souls, to live. Meaning, when you study your chart, you live with the divine ancestors who also were masters of their karma. And this, the Osar Ani, whose word is truth, whose ideas and understandings are truth, he knows his truth. The assessor of the holy offerings of the lords of Thebes shall be with them. Okay, we'll do a few more. I don't want this video to be too terribly long. I'm just going to click randomly somewhere. I don't know where we're going here. Let's see. Let's just pick somewhere. 
but let the state of the spirit souls the observers of the chart be given on to me instead of water and air this is saying that knowing yourself is almost more important than breathing and drinking and the satisfying of the longings of love the word love means to cultivate to develop your chart and the quietness of mind of heart be given on to me instead of cakes and ale this is saying it's more important to be enlightened to know yourself through your chart than it is to have material things let's try one more just I'm gonna click a random page here let's see where we land I didn't discuss this phrase second attempt the fields of peace but it really means the crown the chakras that's all it means okay I don't want to discuss the chakras too much so I'm gonna hit some other point real quick let's just randomly click let's see and thou shalt perform whatsoever is written in this book on behalf of the deceased the person learning his chart who shall thereby become perfect and pure through that chart and thou shalt open his mouth meaning his memory with the instrument of iron iron means jum the word jum which means bones bones means the architecture of your chart the angles and thou shalt write down these things in accordance with the instructions which are found in the books of the Prince Heru Dadaf okay who discovered them in secret in a secret coffer okay that would be the chakras now they were in the handwriting of the god Tehuti himself okay meaning they were written in the oracles the astrology oracles and had been deposited in the temple of the goddess Unut. Unut is the queen of stars, the lady of Unu. During the spiritual journey, which he was making in order to inspect the temples, the temples mean your 12 houses of your chart. I'm sorry, your 12 signs, and the temple estates are the 12 houses, and the sanctuaries of the gods, meaning the planets in those houses okay that's a we can do one more oh that's the index let's go back somewhere here oh that's strange I land on the same page as before let's just click this here let's see where we land here let's see here let's start with let's try over here Okay, I am Haru, the chart master astrologer, the avenger of his father. Through study of your chart, you undo any bad DNA from your lineage. I am he who bringeth forth his father, his good DNA, and his mother, his good DNA, by means of his staff. The staff is your chakras. The way shall be opened, the way of self-knowledge shall be opened to him that have power over his feet meaning the paths he walks paths are another word for orbital trajectories of planets and he shall see the great god in the boat or mind of his chart Ra when the souls are counted therein at the bows the souls of your ancestors and when the years are also counted up that you keep repeating pattern year after year patterns year after year after year okay so you see here no matter where I click you will get a sense of how to read the text it won't be so strange or foreign to you and that was the goal of this particular video so we wish to thank you for this time and we pray that it gave you ideas of how to not be afraid of the text, not be afraid of the actual writings. And remember, there's only one thing to learn, and that's astrology. Every temple, pyramid, was aligned to stars. It was the master signs of Kemet. I pray you enjoy this, and may you now enjoy diving into all of these scriptures that the world now needs, the new rising of the religion of the blacks of the Nile of Kemet. Dwawend Hotebu.